So today my sermon title is Matthew 22:14. Matthew 22:14 What does the Bible says? Let's all read together 1 2 3 go For many are called but few are chosen For many are called but few are What is the meaning of many? I have a question. Will you answer me? Between those who voted and those who didn't vote, who are many? Yeah? Okay, let me look for another. Ah, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Between those who have cars and those who don't have cars, who are many? Look, you don't have a car, you should be shouting. <laughs> you say us. Nisisi. <laughs> so, by statistics, is those who don't have cars are many compared to those who have cars. So, when the Bible says many are called, it shows the majority are called. I have another question. Between those who smoke kishash and those who don't, how many are many? Who are many? Yeah? Those who don't. Those who don't. <laughs> and you are part two of the many. So when the Bible says many are called. Ah, yeah. Another question. <laughs> Between those who drink and those who don't drink, who are many? Remove children. Don't think of children. Between those who drink and those who don't drink, who are many? Yeah? Those who drink. Our age bracket, those who I'm talking about our age bracket. Not drinking milk or tea. Alcohol. Sorry, sorry. I repeat. In our age bracket, between those who smoke kishash and those who don't, who are many? Yeah? Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Between those who drink and those who don't drink, who are many? Those who drink. Aha. Uh -huh. In our age bracket, when you think of virgins, who are many? Those who are virgins or those who are not virgins? Sorry? Sit, sit down. I'm asking a question. Sit while you're seated. I've not received that answer well. So sit down. I want to ask while you're seated. Can I ask that question? Statistically speaking, and when you are looking at Form 34 A and B, between those who are virgins and those who are not virgins, who are many? The, you who are not. I'm a una maoni. I have. Sit down. Look, if you've seen yourself in that category, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? You are called. The Lord has called you. The Lord calls the majority. Sit down. Between those who have problems and those who don't have problems, who are many? You who don't, you who have many problems. We. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You are the many. <laughs> you are the problem. So when the Bible says many are called, it's speaking of you. The many who are alcoholics, 
the many who smoke shisha and whatever thing you smoke the many who have 10 girlfriends 10 boyfriends the many who anoint themselves you know what you do tell you about my neighbor I got something to tell you you are called Look, not everyone is talking to their neighbor. Tell you about my neighbor. I got something to tell you. Can I tell you? You are called. You are called. With your problems. With your masturbation. With your fornication. With your drinking. With your lying. With your jealousy. With all your problems, you are called. So I want to show you some people that God used who also had problems. Then we go. Can I show you? So that you can be encouraged. Those who have houses and those who don't. Number one. I want to show the people, some people God used, then we finish. Number one, part of the Matthew 22, 14 list. Number one is Moses. Moses. Can I tell you something about Moses? Oh, can I tell you, you want to know? Number one, he murdered an Egyptian. He was a murderer. <laughs> Exodus 2 verse 12. Alikuwa muui. You see, that's part of the many who are called. Can I tell you something? Many are mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Few are normal. <laughs> Bible says, so he looked this way. Okay, can, can we start from verse 8? And Pharaoh's daughter saw, okay, 9, uh -huh, 10, uh -huh, 11. Now it came to pass, thank you. In those days when Moses was grown, that he went out to his brethren and looked at their burdens. And he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew. One of his brethren. He was angry. What did he do verse 12? So he looked this way. And that way. And when he saw no one. He killed the Egyptian. And hid him in the sand. He killed. Hua. Nakamzika. So Moses was a murderer. He killed someone. You have you ever killed someone? But you've killed some, some of you, yes. You've killed someone in the mind. You've slaughtered your brother or your children. You, you'll get that when you go home. It's Pastor Pidon who has said, I'm quoting everyone who's saying something. So, Pastor Pidon is saying that you've killed your children. The masturbation you do, your children are in the toilet, the dustbin, the bed sheet, they are everywhere. But number one, Moses was a murderer. <laughs> I will not say that one. So you've not reached the extent of murdering someone or killing someone. And look, Moses was used by God powerfully. And he was a murderer. Are you seeing? Can I show you something that Moses was? He had inferiority complex because he was a stammerer. <laughs> the 
The Bible says there's a time Moses was telling the Lord, but Lord, Moses objected. My own people won't listen to me anymore. How can I expect Pharaoh to listen? I am a clumsy speaker. But Moses pleaded with the Lord, Oh Lord, I'm not very good with words. I have never been, and I'm not now. Even though you have spoken to me, I get tongue-tied, and my words get tangled. He was a stammerer. Can you imagine a stammerer leading a whole army? Can you imagine the, when a stammerer is telling people that we are going? The mics are put. Press, press conference. Fair. Fair. Fellow. Yes. I mean, you will feel inferior. Can you imagine talking to, you're a man, you're talking to a lady, Katia Ringa, and you're a stammerer. And you see how these ladies of us, they, they are not patient. The, the, the guy will say, Dema Shainas. So, so, I'll go to Mr. Sassi's day. I want to join the Sassi's own in that. And the guy was to say, Sassi's day. He will say that he's a clumsy speaker. You know? So he had inferiority complex. You may not be a stammerer, but you have the influence of mother tongue. You don't know where L and R are. Like we know some people will not mention their name, but they don't say they don't know how to say Molo. They say Moro. Yeah? I know someone I will not mention their name, but if they drink soda, yeah? When they speak, ay, 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 ay. Nivo, I'm a band. General erections. You are addressing, you are telling people, do you know we are in erection period? <laughs> My God. Do you know who I erected this morning? I will not tell you who I erected. Yes, this time sit erect, Gioni, direct Asubui. So when you are a clumsy speaker, you can have inferiority complex. You can fear talking in front of people. Because you are sure when you speak, people, you see how you laugh. You can make someone inferior by how you laugh. That's why memes are there, because someone doesn't know how to talk well. Then when you sees and records the guy trends. But Moses had inferiority complex. And he was still used by God. Totally, but you can be used by God. Look, that's why some people cannot stand when, when we are happy, standing, jumping. You, they can't stand. Because they have, excuse me, eh, eh, please. You are talking too much. Thank you. That's why they can't talk. They can't stand. Because yeah, you will want to stand up. But the journey from the seat to, to standing up is so long. Yeah, maybe you're inferior. You, you, you don't like how you look. You think you have a big forehead. Okay, you don't think. You know you have one. It's over nine. You know you have big teeth. Maybe you don't like your body. You have a big stomach. You don't like your co the color of your skin. All these things can make you inferior. They can make you feel, I don't want to do that. But God can use you. As black as you are, as white as you are, with your big forehead, with your small forehead. Some of you, you are here. Oh my God, it's... It's rounded off to the nearest two. 
but God can still use you. With small, short hair, long hair, no hair. Yeah, sit down. Some men, you have no beard. Sit down. Look, look at a man with no beard. If you don't see any strand of hair, tell them a buju buju buju. Where when when you no gumu, fuck up. Pastor Pinton says unaka emoji. Pastor Pinton. But can I tell you something? God can still use you. Yeah, no matter how you look. Even if you are big, you have no flat tummy, whatever you are, God can still use you. Sit down. Hey, you sit down. Sit down. Because some of you, that's the reason why you don't do things. You don't want to dance. You don't want to sing. You don't want to serve. You don't want to usher. Because you think you don't look well. I don't have the face to do what. You know, I don't have the hair. Oh, no, no, no. look at how Melillo's hair is long. Me, mine is short. How can I do this when I... No. Look, even you might have one strand. Move that strand. Move it. You might even have antennas. If you want to move them, move them, the two of them, one on one side, the other on the other side. And no Zungushe. Come away, Zinyoa. Tell everybody you are part of the many. Look, when Moses said all that, maybe he thought God will tell him, okay, Sawa. For some of you, when you don't do it because you have excuses, you know, I don't do this, I'm shy, or whatever, whatever, whatever. No, but God said, I'll use you, I want you. Your brother will help you. Yeah, but he wants you. Aaron is just assisting. I want you to talk. It was Moses talking to Pharaoh. Yeah. It's just the Bible cannot write in stammery form. But if it, it, if it were possible, if you're reading what Moses is saying, I think it will take a long time reading. Because he's a stammerer. Yeah. Can you imagine God used to talk to Moses, who's a stammerer? God is patient. Like you. Wait, wait, wait. God. God. Hey. And God is listening. Face to face. See, they are saying that's why it took time to, for him to come down to the mountain because I'm sure there were lengthy conversations. That is Baraka saying, Father, it's not me, it's Baraka. God can use you. Can I show you something about Moses? Are you loving this? I'm finishing in a few. Moses was quick tempered. Moses was quick tempered. Um, Exodus 32. We can start from verse. Uh, okay, let's just start from verse. Now we come to church to read scripture anyway. The Bible says, Now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, <laughs> the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him, Come. Make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt. We don't know what has become of him. Continue. And Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earring, which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. Look, why Aaron really accepted? Because these guys were many. They were not one, 100. They were so many. They were close to 2 million. Can you imagine 2 million saying that make us a golden calf? Quickly. Verse 3. 
So all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. Verse 4. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And he received the gold from their hand and he fashioned it with an engraving tool and made a modeled calf. Then he said, this is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Mind you, when they were saying this Moses who brought us out of Egypt, now they've made a calf and said, this is the calf which brought you out of Egypt. Ama Muni? Munona? Aha. And he received the gold from their hand and he fashioned it with an engraving. Ah. Wait. Where he department Sija Soma saying language. Um Tani and Bianca is in Nini Naivi Nai. So when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Imagine. Then they arose early on the next day, offered burnt offerings and burnt peace offerings, and the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Uh -huh, verse 7 quickly. And the Lord said to Moses, Go, get down for your people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. Verse 8. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded calf and worshipped it and sacrificed it and said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. He said to Moses, and the Lord said to Moses, I have seen these people, and indeed it is a stiff necked people. Now, therefore, let me alone that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and I'm, I will make you a great nation. Verse 11. Listen, listen, this is where the story gets interesting. Uh -huh. The Bible says, Then Moses pleaded. With the Lord, his God, and said, Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people? Whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and a mighty hand. Verse 12. Why should the Egyptians speak and say, he brought them out to, he brought them out to harm them, to kill them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth. Turn your fierce wrath and relent. From this harm to your people. Are we reading to it with me? Verse 13. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Your, Israel is uh, Jacob. Your servants. To whom you swore by your own self. And say to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heavens. And all this land that I have spoken of, I give to your descendants. And they shall inherit for Anamambia God. Verse 14, so the Lord relented from the harm. The Lord did what? Can you give us an LT? Maybe people don't understand relented. 14, go to 14. So the Lord changed his mind. Is that easier? So the Lord changed his mind about the terrible disaster he had threatened to bring on his people. Aha, go to verse 15. Then Moses turned and went down the mountain. So Moses has already finished pleading with God because God was a man to Sabonga Yulambi Abraham, Ukambekina Isaac, Ukambekina Jacob, that Tower Tower. Then, sir, what was Kumenda Kuo Kamilima? Sir, you need a Jay God. Naju, I see poor, not checky, not check, sir, Akafika Puinsa and Ashuka. Eh? So he held in his hand the two stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant. They were inscribed on both sides, front and back. Isn't it to God that may pay Moses? Shika. Aha. Uh -huh. These tablets were God's work. God monya li zichora. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. The words on them were written by God. He, it's Him who wrote those words. God Himself. Remember, Moses was pleading with the Lord. Relent. Change your mind. What are you doing, Lord? Verse 17. When Joshua heard the boisterous noise of the people shouting below them, he exclaimed to Moses, It sounds like war in the camp. Verse 18. But Moses replied, No, 
it's not a shout of victory, nor the wailing of defeat. I hear the sound of a celebration. Now, verse 19, when you watch the Jafro, Apando, I can tell you the Israelites did a very, very wrong mistake. Verse 19, when Moses came near the calf, Moses saw the calf and dancing, and the dancing, and he burned with anger. He threw the stone tablets. God, I'm a chorizo. I'll not do it. Handwriting, you're gone. Through. Ta. To the ground, smashing them at the foot of the mountain. Uni mwenye alikona plead. Just a few minutes ago, I'm a talk about my God. Watch a hizo bana. Watch a chorea. Usikuwa evo. Usikuwa nge evo. Have you ever seen two people fighting? How you talk to them? Morio. Watch a zako bana. Watch a relax. Who are pressure? <laughs> he took the calf they had made and burnt it. Then he ground it into powder. This gold. Alivunja akachukua calf. Akavunja aka grind into powder. Threw it into the water and forced the people to drink it. Let's continue, verse 21. Finally, he turned to Aaron and demanded, what did these people do to you to make you bring such terrible sin upon them? Then listen to Aaron, verse 22. Don't get so upset, my Lord. Aaron replied, you yourself know how evil these people are. Washirika walifanya assistant pastor a backslide. Dangerous. 23. They said to me, make us gods who will lead us. We don't know what happened to this fellow Moses who brought us here from the they call him fellow Moses from the land of Egypt. Verse 24. So I told them, whoever has gold, jewelry, take it off. When they brought it to me, I simply threw it into the fire and <laughs> out came this calf. Can you imagine? Nika chukoyo gold. Nikarusha. Ikatokea. 25. Moses saw that Aaron had let the people go completely out of control. Much. Uh -huh. Verse 26. So he stood at the entrance to the camp and shouted, All who are on the Lord's side, come here and join me. And all the Levites gathered around him. This is the same man who said, Please, God, relent. He has drawn the calf. Grinded it, thrown it to the river. People have drunk. Now he has said, All those who are on Lord's side, come here and join me. And all the Levites gathered around him. Verse 27. Moses told them, This is what the Lord of that the Lord has not spoken. But this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Each of you take your swords and go back and forth from one end of the camp to the other. Kill everyone, even your brothers, friends, and neighbors. 28. The Levites obeyed Moses' command and about 3,000 people died that day. This guy had hot temper. Like how you have on hot temper. You know I mean? There's a temper I have but I, there are some things I can't do. See how in movies how people are angry then they do Kuna mali fika hapo kwangu. I will get angry like this. You take your phone. You're angry, you take your phone. Ah! A prayer point. Unarusha. Apana molio. No, 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 no. You know how many fights you've been? You are hot tempered. Hey, you get into fights with everyone. Makanga me pigana. Dereva me pigana. Do you have five bob? I'm a ten bob. Exciting gapi? Thirty. Nakonga twenty. Unambio ni 30. Na wanga 20. Hey, wacha zako. Unachapo angumi. Hey, hii mnanifanya, hii mnanifanya, hii mnanifanya. Pa, unapigwa. Watu wa boda, watu umepigana nao. Watu wa mutura, umepigana nao. Tukata ya 70. Easy 70. Ini 30. Unamchapa kofi, pa. Anakurushia makaa, sha. Unachomeka. Una 
umekuwa mlevi umekosana na kila mtu anger issues if someone steps on your shoe right now white rubber shoes how you'll get angry but you see god still used someone who was had hot walls hot tempered like moses the q yeah i won't ask who are hot tempered but you know some people who are hot tempered you you get angry there's a vein that comes out here you are shaking ni mtu utamaliza mimi huyu mtu utamaliza na unapatanga utakao wapigangi mtu eh wewe na sufanye ke utafanya then when they come was ufanye sufanye wewe and they go home hot tempered pita hapa kae ni mwanaume pita hii line pita hii line kae ni mwanaume na unapita na unapita na unapita ebu Are you learning from Moses? But God still used him. Are you understanding or are you bored? Number 3 he was doubtful. You can read in uh, Numbers 20 from verse 11 to 12. This is a place I was told to speak to the rock but he hit some of you the doubt you have you don't trust anyone you don't even trust you doubt everything if someone tells you i love you you doubt eh mbona mimi unanipenda You go to town and you ask the road ati by the uh, backless iko wapi iko pale mbele tu and a right ah you go sure uko sure iko hapo na hata hujui doubtful so he was a very doubtful man but despite these shortcomings Moses rose and became a courageous leader who led the Israelites out of Egypt so may you rise and become a leader are you seeing even bible people have shortcomings can we go to someone else David David number 1 he was not recognized as significant part of the family 1 Samuel 16:11 it's he was not recognized as a significant part of his family 11 New King James And Samuel said to Jesse all the young men are here then he said ah there remains yet the youngest and there he is keeping the sheep and Samuel said to Jesse send and bring him for we will not sit down till he comes here can you imagine your father forgetting you are there imagine all the children are called then because ah kuna mmoja anakwanga rongai ah anichongwa nani That was how he was he was forgotten so he was insignificant this reminds me of joseph joseph was also someone who was insignificant the the problem of joseph is he, he was just a dreamer he had no other thing he was a dreamer he dreamt and he told the brothers what he dreamt yeah he said i i, I dreamed that you are all stars and you are bowing you are coming around me and bowing you are all haystacks and you are there bowing And the brothers are hey what are we doing we are bowing ah ah can you imagine your small brother the youngest anakuja kukwambia no joni nilitana na wewe uliko una tu unanifanyia tu ba unanibawia hiyo covid up wacha uongo hiyo hiyo ni uongo so david was not recognized in his family number two. He was despised by his brothers when he even tried to help. I'm I'm still showing you many are called. He was despised by his brothers when he tried to help. First Samuel 
from verse 28 29. Now Eliab, his oldest brother, heard when he speak to the men, and Eliab's anger was aroused against David. And he said, Why did you come down here? And why and with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your pride and your insolence of your heart, for you have come down to see the battle. 29. And David said, What have I done now? Is there not a cause? He, he was sent by the father to take food to them. But when he's taking to them, they're like, Unafanya nini hapa sai? Unakona kiburi sana. Umeachizo few sheep. So he was not liked. And he did nothing. How many of you have been in that position? You've been blamed for something you know you didn't do. Okay, if you've not been there, you'll be there. Soon, soon, soon. Number three. Because of time. David faced great oppositions in his life. 1 Samuel 23, 14 to 15. And David stayed the, in strongholds in the wilderness and remained in the mountains in the wilderness of Zip. Saul sought him every day, but God did not deliver him into his hand. 15. So David saw that Saul had come out to seek his life and David was in the wilderness of Zip in a forest. Can you imagine someone looking for you to kill you? Yeah? You see how you run from people who you have their money. Come here. When you have someone's 50 bob, how you run? So this guy was trying to be murdered, but he, he got did not allow it. So he had a lot of trouble, but God still used him. But he God did not allow it. So he had a lot of trouble, but God still used him. Number four, he was a murderer. Hey, is that brother sleeping? Brother, sit up. You with the pink Marvin. Bro. Macho yangu ikozawa, bro. Don't sleep. He was a murderer. He ordered that Uriah to be fierce, to be killed. Second Psalm 11:15. This guy, he ordered someone to be killed because he want, he, he saw upper, that's the only way. Second Samuel 11, 15. And he wrote in the letter saying, set Uriah in the forefront of the hottest battle and retreat from him that he may be struck down and die. So he, also, he was also a murderer. But God still used him. Number five, he was a woman's man. Second Samuel 11 verse 4. Actually verse 1. It happened in the spring of the year at the same time when kings go out to battle that David sent Job and his servants with him and all Israel and they destroyed the people of Ammon and besieged Rabbah. But David remained at Jerusalem, verse 2. Then it happened one evening that David arose from his bed and walked on the roof of the king's house. And from the roof he saw a woman bathing. And the woman was very beautiful to behold. Desire. So David sent and inquired about the woman and someone said, Is this not the Sheba, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? Verse 4. Then David sent messengers and, and took her, and she came to him, and he lay with her, for she was cleansed from her impurity, and she returned to her house. This guy was dangerous. You, you know how you are dangerous. You've catered almost 15 girls, if not 20. Even you're in church right now, and you're catering someone. If your, if your eyes glance when, when I'm preaching, you do. That's how you are every time. The sister is talking to someone else, then you, you're passing by going to the washroom, then you look at her. Look, I've seen these things here. Dangerous people. What? 
dangerous man. Yeah. Sit down. Some men, you know, these days there are different types of hugs. They side for purposes of illustration. There are some men, if they see a lady, they, they just. Oh, let's this. this. Then there are others. Yeah? I, and I know them. When they see you, they're like, ah. ah um. No, no. They will first, the, the hands will not be up. They, they will. Like, Down. Start, no, start, we are not done here. So they are side. They are the ones I see side. They are the ones I see long. So, oh, there's there's one for 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 down. They, they. Now I, I I experience a new version. I think we will cut from live for security purposes. They will hug and peck here. I saw with my eyes. Yeah, they did this. They did it. Then look, sit down so that people can see. Oh, I will not show you. I will not show you what will happen. Look, I was watching myself. I was so shocked. I will not even say the venue. <laughs> I was innocently minding my business. And then it so, happened. so they hugged. Hey. Then the lady said, uh -huh. hey. The lady told the guy, see. Hey. Then the guy, the guy did. Hey. I was like, Oh my God. Hey. What? Hey. You can do that? Hey. What? Hey. You can do that? You just just like that. in a heavenly Holy Spirit atmosphere. Hey, <laughs> but if you are like that, God can still use you. You are called. Thank you. Do you know David? So that they prove that the guy is dead. Do you know what they did? They brought a lady. And they saw that David did not touch. They say, uh -uh, our king is dying. When the lady, look, you can read scripture. They brought the lady. Then when, when David did not even turn or was not minding her, they said, oh, 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 our king is going. How can you see a lady bathing? No, you see a lady bathing. I'm like, is that so and so? Who is Nishiro? Sindio. Only Shiro Amasha. I'm only one. Benja. Hey. Simulte, mutene, mutene, mutene. Good, yeah. Tan, 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 end at home. Same day. And the guy was minding his business. He was just walking. Oh. I'm sure he took binoculars. I, hey. I like the view. Uh, oh, oh! I've never seen this before. <laughs> if we had, a, if it is this day and age, they will take an iPhone because he's the king. And she's bathing, and the lady is just bathing. She's minding, so she's a, she's minding her own business. Then the king, when the, when she does it, the king is like, oh man. Then the king is seeing slow motion. The king was, oh my God. Oh my God. Bring that girl to me now. Haraka Ubesi.
see, she was cleansed. Look, when it means she was cleansed from her impurity, is she was not on her period. She was ready, fresh. But God can still use you with your lady's problem. How you can hear guys, you can, you can be a good person in Anakazo. Look, in Anakazo, some ladies want the men to talk to them. Yeah, because they, when they see, when Devi used to be here, he's now in Mendani. When they see a tall, light skinned guy, ah, they say, Ule Aneza Nyongelesha. Aneza Ule Aneza Nyongelesha. Yeah. Nampe Ule Nampe. One time I went with Anakazo with Yvonne. Yvonne was telling everyone, Takana wewe, Rukika Mchachi. So she ended up telling the ten guys, Usijali, Takana wewe. Ukiongea, cheki, Usijali, Takana wewe, Rukika Yeah, Steph, she was called Kavanila. Someone says, Simuite, Kavanila, Ule Kavanila, Nyongeleshe. Your face is becoming good for something. Yeah. So it can't be good for nothing. You have muscles. Or your beautiful face or hair, whatever. So despite all this David had, God still used him with all these problems. Eh? Can I tell you something about David? I'm almost done. Um, he became a great king who ruled over Israel for 40 years. Yeah? His reign was known as one of the most pros prosperous period, periods in the history of Israel. With all these problems, he's the only person who was called a man after God's own heart. So you can't tell me you have problems and now you see you can't serve. And you've not even reached to the David level. You know? The Holy Spirit ministered to him through David, through music. He used to play the harp. You know? So God, tell him, but God can use you. Quickly, Gideon. Some of you ladies, how you are a man, you, are, you, are, you, you, you see people, people say it's a ladies man. Some ladies, you how you do to men, what you do to men. Dangerous. How you wear. Suggestively. How you talk. Sasa. Good morning. How are you? I'm a large leo. I'm handsome. How how did you have this big fat body? Body. Oof. That's how you talk. That's how you. Talk. Can, can I touch your muscles? You know, on Rising Stars, we looked at people's emojis. Most used emojis. We were shocked. Look, if I do that right now, some of you will throw your phones. Because you know the type of emojis you use. Tuangalie! 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 We had that emoji for water. I don't know what it means. Yeah? And vegetables. I will not mention the vegetables. That we saw in there. I will not mention the sit down and fruits and animals. I'm feeling you don't you don't you don't say what you feel. I'm feeling. Then you put an emoji. Can I have some? You put an emoji. We we looked. If we go to your phone and search keywords there, sha. What we will see. Mayo. Babe, ni mefika. So it's also ladies are dangerous. But you are called. With your dangerous, you are called. You are part of the many. Dangerous. 
Hey. What are this generation? Nikubaya. Even the shopkeeper is afraid. Sasa ukona kiberiti. Kiberiti. Ile ya nafusika na kuwash. The shopkeeper is surprised. And I could pay the gas. <laughs> you know yourself. Oh, uh, how, how? When they, when they want favors, they push it up. Then they go, they lean. Sasa. Then it's out. out, 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 out. But you are called with all those problems, you are called. There is no problem God cannot change. I think we should finish from there. I can mention one about Gideon, then we finish. Hey. Dangerous guys. Dangerous people. But you're cold. With all your dangerousness, you're cold. You know, some ladies. No, I will not say that one. One day, a brother was working somewhere. Then a particular lady called the brother. And the lady was the boss. The lady was wearing a very short skirt, this kind of dress. Then when he's talking to the brother, he removed some lotion. And he's talking to the brother. I said, Asasa, oh, I wanted you to do something. Hey! The brothers do what? What am I supposed to? <laughs> you see, you, you're not Joseph's. <laughs> so, sit down. So, the sister was talking to the brother while applying oil. So the brother was finding it hard to concentrate on what the, 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 the lady is saying. And it was official business. But you see how the, the person was doing seduction. The brother was surprised. He's like, where am I supposed to concentrate? What am I to do? Is that, am I looking up or down or round or beneath, whatever? And some of you are not Joseph's. Joseph flew. When he saw danger, he flew. He ran. He said, ah, eh, 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 eh. But you, you know, that's why it's many are called. Some of you, if you are in Joseph's position, and Potiphar says, come here, baby boy. And you're like, okay, okay. But God can also use you with all these problems. Look, what I'm trying to tell you with all with these many words is God can use you. No matter what you've done, no matter what you do, no matter who you are, no matter you the only person in the Bible that I can say had no weakness was Jesus. All the other people. This, Paul is part in my, of my notes. Paul was persecuting Christians. Yeah, he was, he's, part, he's my fourth after Gideon is Paul. He used to persecute Christians, thinking he's doing the right thing. Met Jesus. He is not three quarter of the New Testament. The same person who was persecuting Christians. He was a murderer. And now became a, an apostle. You have not killed anyone. 
but you see and you don't want to be used by god si semi muwe mtu sasa utashikwa bro but god can tell you but god can use you no matter what you've done no matter who you are look jesus was speaking to ordinary people tax collectors fishermen he said follow me he didn't go to bible school and say i will he didn't go to the synagogue and say i want i want the scribes i want the pharisees the, he was actually angry he said you hypocrites Pro, scop, he, he called them scorpions wild dogs <laughs> brood of vipers he used normal people so if god used normal people he can also use you the normal person you are All right? Stand up on your feet. Now lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Now lift up your hands and say, Father, use me with my problems, with my issues, with my situations. Lord, use me. I am here. No, I I can't hear. You have to say it with power and still lift both your hands. and say lord lord use me use me choose me choose me use me with my issues use me with my issues. use me with my problems use me with my problems use me with my situations use me with my situations lord i'm here lord i'm here i am available i am available for you for you to use me to use me as i open my mouth and i pray i want to i want to pray to the lord lord use me Open your mouth and pray to the Lord Father I'm available I am here for you to use me Rama kapata la la ba I don't see you pray Close your eyes and tell the Lord Lord I have so many problems but I want you to use me Rama kapata la ba Rama kapata la la ba Rama kapata la la ba My sins are always before me but Lord I want you to relent Have mercy and use me Use me for your kingdom Use me to preach Use me to teach Use me to an akazo to shepherd laba kabada laba with my inferiority complex with my anger with my doubtness with all my issues laba kabada laba i want you to use me lord rama kabada base ma kabada laba sema laba laba sema kabada laba laba oh father use us use us as young as we are with our issues with our problems
Come on, lift up your hands and say, Oh Lord. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for loving me. When on the cross you made history. Lord, you died. Lord, you died for me forever. My praise will go to the oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for choosing me to be a child and bear your name. Oh, Jesus, I will never see you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just wanna thank you. Thank you for loving me. When on the cross, when on the cross you made. your right hand on your chest and say father father today today i stand in your presence i stand in your presence and i want to declare and i want to declare that you are king that you are king and lord over my life and lord over my life father father use me use me in your kingdom in your kingdom use me use me in your ministry in your ministry use me use me in your church in your church in your people in your people lord i want you to use me lord i want you to use me today today i'm available i'm available for you for you to use me to use me let me pray father thank you for teaching us yes so powerfully god we pray that you may use us amen with all our problems yes the word says that many are called lord yes. we are part of the many who are called yes and we are available yes, yes. For you to use us yes lord use us amen for your glory yes use us in your ministry yes, amen lord. use us in the church yes amen. use us in the community yes lord. use us in our school amen. yes use us in our family yes use us in our generation amen. amen lord use us may we be ambassadors of christ yes wherever that we go yes in the mighty name of jesus yes, yes. Lord. lord we thank you yes thank you. We decree and declare that we are here, yes. available yes. and usable by you. Yes. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Why don't you make that devil angry and give the Lord a shout of praise? Yeah.